and I did it and failed miserably uh, and then eventually uh, kept hacking away at it and yeah, on the instrument. And the best thing about the competition scene is that it, uh, to quote a man that I met in Vancouver, it's a vortex of quality. Uh, everyone who enters the competitions are there solely to do the best that they can uh, and excel in their craft and try to reach heights of quality and excellence that they wouldn't otherwise do in a day-to-day -day bar. The Australian coffee scene is pretty exciting at the moment. There's a lot happening. Um, there's a lot of new roasteries and cafes opening up. Uh, a lot of people doing exciting things. And just recently, a lot of very exciting green coffee coming to the country. To prepare for the worlds, I've been doing a few things a bit unorthodox. Uh, to prepare for the altitude, I'll be taking an espresso machine and my coffee up Victoria's highest mountain. Uh, Mount Buller, where we have access to tower, and uh, some friends of ours will lend us a cafe for a day, so I can pour some espressos there. My biggest fear going to Colombia uh, would have to be the altitude. Uh, apart from probably being very lightheaded while doing my presentation, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to do some weird things to espresso. Uh, I'm 20 years old. I had no idea um, that I'd be able to. Um, get to this stage at this age, kind of five years before schedule, which is nice.